Well hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel. Now whether you're a caravanner, a camper vanner or a motorhomer, you might find this next video really useful. Also stay tuned to the end of the video because one of our subscribers Alec who we've met before arrived with his van and also his best friend Jasmine. There's one job that needs to be done at least once a year if not two or three times actually and this applies to all of you. So currently I've got a hole in the top of the caravan roof and there's a very good reason why. So come and have a look. So this is where the gaping hole in the caravan roof is. It's where the skylight, MPK, air vent normally fits. As you can see, it's a lovely uh, sunny day, lovely blue sky. I've taken the skylight off because it actually needs a damn good clean. It's absolutely filthy. But rain is in the forecast, so I can't mess about here. Now, as far as the rest of the caravan's concerned, we're all ship shape in Bristol fashion here. Helen's got me doing all those pink jobs still, and uh, she's very good at managing what needs to be done, and uh, she does help where she can. But anyway, look, we're ready to go apart from these skylights. So, absolutely filthy. Take a little look at this. Now, you've probably got a similar situation going on yourselves. You've got two layers of perspex here, like a double glazed window, and somehow all the dirt and the grit and uh, little bits of twigs and what have you gets between the two layers of perspex. And then you, you just can't see out. It's like looking through, um, I don't know, like a toilet window, like it's opaque or something, you know. Uh, I'll never get these spotless, but I need to do the best that I can. So we're going to take them off. Now, taking them off is really quick and easy, providing you've got the right kit. And all you really need is some spider keys. And uh, you can find these on Amazon. If you click on the link to our Amazon store below, uh, you'll be able to pick these up. They're only a few pounds, not really expensive. And uh, what I need really right now is uh, the smallest one on here, which I think is a T10. Yes, a T10. So we'll take the T10 off and we'll just go back up to the skylight, undo four bolts, and then this thing uh, will be off. And then we'll need another key, a different size, uh, to separate the two. I'll show you that in a second. So it was the T10 key that we used to get the four screws on the two brackets undone and then to get the skylight off the caravan. That took me two minutes. It's a really quick job. And now that we're here in this situation, we now need to separate the two pieces of perspex. And the key that we need for this one is a T27, so quite a bit bigger. And then we'll just uh, show you how you do that now. And you'll see, undo the bolts on the uh, brackets and then these two will be separated. So you can see when I take this apart how dirty it really is. Now the inside one, um, this is dirty because all the dirt's got trapped between the two layers of perspex. Uh, and I'm just going to wash this in warm soapy water here in the kitchen sink uh, and you'll see that this will come up really like new. Fantastic. Right, like I always say with any of these things that I do, I'm not saying this is how it should be done. This is just how I do it. Got a bit of uh, warm soapy water in here, literally washing up liquid in here and warm water uh, and a sponge. And uh, hopefully this camera will just show the, how dirty this is. See all the film on here? So let's just give that a wipe down. Can you see straight away the dirt that's come off of there? Now there's no other way of getting to this really other than taking it apart. And actually, I've taken it apart in less than 10 minutes, so it's not a big job. Let's give it a clean. I'm not sure we're going to need any Vuplex on this. This is really getting all the dirt off, all the dust, all the little bits of grit and grime that get underneath. Well, the difference just on this bit is pretty amazing. You can see how lovely and clean the inside piece of Perspex has come up. I'm just going to dry that off with some kitchen roll now and uh, then we'll tackle this and you can see how the two compare that's how I'd like this one to look but I think that could well be beyond it because it's very yellow well if I just hold that up for you now looking out of the kitchen window you can see that is pretty good I've got a couple of scratches on this which I, I must have done myself never going to get those out even with a vuplex I mean might be able to disguise them a little bit but the point is look how clear that is now the bit we've got to do if I just hold that up I think that might give you a better idea of just how yellow this is and dirty because it's a little bit wet yes but it's also very it looks like it's opaque doesn't it right this has been washed in warm soapy water and it's clean and dry a lot of dirt came off but it's still looks it still looks dirty doesn't it and it's not dirty this is clean now so what we've got going on here i think is where the sun the weather 
the dust, pollen, etc., has got into this perspex. And I wonder if there's anything we can do to make it a little clearer. I'm not sure. It's certainly clean, a lot cleaner. Let's see if we can make it even better. I don't know. Let's try some of this. So the thing about the pink stuff is, I've said this before in a previous video, it's a mild abrasive. But here, and I'll show you when I hold this up in a minute, here is like, I don't know like if pollen's got into it or just the sun's affected it. It's got very yellow and it's opaque, like I mentioned. So I'm just putting this on. Now, be mindful that this is abrasive, so it will potentially scratch. But I think what it's doing is, if you do it very lightly, I've learned because I've had a little go at this now, <laughs> do it lightly and basically you're taking off this sort of film that's on the top. But like I say, it's an abrasive, so it sort of will leave light scratches. I might just try a bit of Vuplex over the top of this. But let me just show you when I then wipe this off, the difference between the two. I'm not saying you can see through it anymore, but it certainly looks less yellow. So if I hold that up to the window now, that's the bit I haven't done with the pink stuff. And if I move over, you can certainly see a difference where I have been with the pink stuff. There's a line, this sort of square down here, and it's definitely less yellow and slightly more clearer, I think. Anyway, it's not, you know, they're a little bit out of sight, out of mind, these skylights, aren't they? But um, it's just nice to get it as clean as you can anyway. But that's a lot better than it was. So now I'm just going to put that back together and uh, we'll get it back on the van. Now there's one little job while you've got this off that you really need to do on the caravan roof and I'll show you that now. Well, I can just fit through this skylight when there's no skylight on it, obviously. What I was going to say was, use the opportunity while you've got this off, get a bit of soapy water and just get around these edges here because you can't normally get to these very easily when you've got your uh, skylight air vent connected. So it really is just a real quick hot water soapy sponge on these bits. And then when you clean the rest of the caravan roof, you don't got to worry about these bits. Now, it's like putting a jumper on and taking it off again. Oh, almost. Oh, it's hard work. But I brought with me, also, a bit of kitchen roll. Just so I can just dry those bits off that I've just washed. This is a two minute job, folks. And you might as well just get it done now. Because if nothing else, you feel good about it. But you've done it. I'll end up cleaning the whole caravan roof here, that's a problem. Right, let's get the thing back on. Well, here it is, ready to go back on, and it's a lot cleaner, folks, than when we took it off. Uh, we might even be able to see through it a little bit. Let's get it back on. So, what does the end result look like? I know that's what you're gagging to know. I think you've probably already worked it out, though. Well, here we are. You can see blue sky and clouds, which we couldn't see before. So, a lot better. Um, because it's old, it's never going to be perfect. If you want it perfect, you probably have to buy a new one of these. In terms of price, well, I'll have a little look and see if I can find the price of one of those, and I'll put it on the screen for you now. Once you see the price, you probably want to take it off and clean it. Let's be honest, it's not, uh, it's not like you want to look out of your skylight every two minutes, is it? It's just that it looks unsightly. You're not sort of looking at the view as such. But much better. So that one's done. It does look a lot better. And that's what we started with, something like this. So we've got that. Or that. And taking it off and putting it back on is really a five minute job each side. So it's five minutes to take it off, washing it, I mean, I was trying to film and watch it, but it's probably talking about 10, 15 minutes to do it really well. 
So in the end, what I found was that the interior piece cleaned nicely. The exterior piece was discolored over time. It sort of got a yellow tinge to it. Um, I could never get that off. Even if I washed it and put Vuplex on, it's still had that yellow tinge. What brought it up the best actually was a very light rubbing with the pink stuff. The pink stuff is an abrasive. So if you rub hard and for long periods of time, you will scratch it. You're gonna, you know, you kind of scratch the dirt off, but if you do it lightly, it's not so bad. Okay, so I did that lightly on the inside and the outside of that outer skin. And then what I did was got some Vuplex and I Vuplex the inside and the outside of that outer skin as well, just to give it a bit more of a shine. And it's much better. Definitely, definitely much better than what we had. But I'm gonna move on and, and do this, do the bathroom. And then, although it's not as bad, um, you can see, when you get to the detail up here, look how black this is on the outside here. So I'm not gonna take this one off. I mean, you could take it off. It looks like the screws are much the same, but you don't really need to take this off to get to it because it's much bigger. And because it opens right out, then getting up there and sorting that out in the nooks and crannies is not gonna be as bad. Yeah, so once again, while you're up here, just get a soapy sponge and get into these these bits down here give it all a clean these are the bits you just can't normally get to and for the sake of a a five minute job and look at the tops here look get in there and give them all a good clean Right, so it looks like we're pretty done here for now. That's the uh, the main skylight and the two vents, all nice and clean. Ready to go, just like us, really, we wanna get off. Strange thing is, <laughs> um, working away in the van, and a van pulls up outside, and it was Alec from uh, Suffolk Bird Control. He sort of does all the holiday parks across the road, and all the business is called Suffolk Bird Control. Alec and Sandy, they live at Haysborough, uh, up the coast actually in Norfolk, not too far from us. So a couple of times when he's gone past, he stopped by and said hi. And he gave me a little look at the birds that he had on board. And I'll show you quickly um, what Alec had got to say about the birds. Harris Hawk, Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. She's keeping an eye on them dogs at the moment. Does she bother her with your dogs? This is Millie. She's Does fine she... with Millie. Oh, is she? Hello, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. So I'm just videoing a bit of this. Right, so just, what's your, can I tell everyone what your name is? Alec. Alec, what do you do Alec? I fly hawks, falcons and eagles around sites to keep seagulls away. Oh, you'll be right. busy around here then? That's what I get paid for, yeah. Yeah. So this is one of 28 birds of prey that we have. Wow. So the good lady, uh, we're up at Haysborough, and the good lady has uh, 17 owls that, that she uses for oh, yeah. owl experience days. Yeah. Wow. So if you want to come and handle some owls. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've come and find you. Haysborough Owls. Yeah. This is Jasmine. Uh, well, Jasmine's well behaved. She's a female. Just to give you a comparison on, on, the, on the sizes, this is a male version. Yeah. This is Sid. <laughs> Sid. <laughs> so Sid, as you can see, is half the size. Oh, yeah. Uh, Isn't that amazing? Can you see right. him? Oh, nice. Small. Let me just zoom in, yeah. yeah. And um, Squeaker's just been flown over the road at the holiday park. Yeah. Haven. So he's a bit wet. Oh. But, uh, that squeak, and again, he's a male Harrison. Right. Is it all Harris hawks you have? No, I've got peregrine falcons. Ah. I've got uh, Geosakers, which are a hybrid. Uh -huh. And I've got a Chilean blue eagle, which oh. I normally got sitting in here, but yeah. didn't, didn't bring her today. This, oh. is, this young lady here, she's about 15 now. Is she? Yeah. How old do they, how long do they live? 25. 25 plus, yeah. We've got we've got an African grey. Yeah, <laughs> he, I know. I've seen the yeah. videos. <laughs> he lives to about 80, doesn't he? He's in the will, he is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. That'll be passed down to the grandkids. Yeah, yeah. No. will. So they don't, it don't fly off then? Well, yeah, I've been flying her over here. Yeah. Um, we, we manage their weight 
with food, obviously. So today she was quite high in weight. I have to weigh them before I fly them. Yeah. And she was quite high, but I don't worry about that because she'll just follow me around, even if she don't come when I call her. She'll she won't leave you. Around sight. She's yeah. Been right down in amongst all the yeah. all the crowds today. Wow. Um, eventually she'll come to me. So knowing that, because she's been playing up today, she, she's had her food stopped. Every time she comes to me, she got worried. Yeah. So we're out again tomorrow. Yeah. So by tomorrow, because she's not had all of her, her ration today, her, yeah. her, her weight will be down a little bit. Oh, I got you. Uh, so she'll be bang on tomorrow and she'll get her food ration yeah. and more because we're not working the day off. What does she eat? Uh, raw food. She's on chicken, quail. Um, I, I got a load of rabbits last night. Oh, yeah. I'll take care of a site with a lot of rabbit on. So. Yeah. I she gets a bit of that. And how, how far away can she see you from, do you reckon? Oh, a long way, but she yeah. don't go far. I mean, she? If I just let her go now, she'd yeah. sit on that roof and just wait for me to move. Would you really? Oh, yeah. right. She'd just sit there. Yeah. And she won't get rid of them pesky up here doing, doing bird control, she'd then walk, go from house to house. Does she? Yeah. She's beautiful. Beautiful bird, isn't she? Yeah. And how big is the wingspan on her? Um, about, that, oh, about that big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's, uh, she's as gentle as a... Uh, isn't that amazing? Um, I, I can't believe how great she is with you. It's is fantastic. she tied to your glove? Huh? Is she tied to your glove? Yeah, Jessie's oh, got the Jessie's on. on. Yeah. Yeah, when we get home, she'll she'll have these on, but I'll just let her go in her aviary. Yeah. She's got a big aviary. She'll just go straight in. Yeah, what we call free lofted. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So what would she do to change them with seagulls, would she? It's, it's her mere presence. These are kicking off here because oh, her. see they've seen her, have they? And they've seen her flap her wings. Yeah. <laughs> and, I hope um, they go. <laughs> it's not just her. I mean, I, I, I have to get a license to um, to remove nest and eggs. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Them, so yeah. She's she's a deterrent. I've yeah. also got lasers that I use. I use the bird callers, you know. The oh right. Bearers, yeah. Like yeah. Um, and we do a lot of proofing over there, netting, spiking. Yeah. Anything to stop the birds loping and yeah. So have you just got the three with you today, have you? Three today. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, these sites are ideal for these. Yeah. The amount of people around, I don't want to be putting up a two hundred. No, hours. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, thanks for showing it to us. That's fantastic. Yeah, Jasmine. Jasmine. She's lovely. Beautiful. What was great about that little stop off is that uh, Alec has said next time we're Haysborough way, which sometimes we just go for a run out in the car, or, or often we might think consider taking the caravan that way. But he said to pop in and see him, and then perhaps we can see um, all the lovely birds of prey. His wife, I think it's got 17 or 18 owls that she keeps. So they've got bags of experience, lots of birds, and obviously very li fully licensed to do what they do. So we may well take you up on that offer, and if I do pop round, rest assured I'll bring the video camera with me as well. Thanks for dropping by, Alec. Great to see you. Helen and I both enjoyed looking at, um, at the birds. It was fantastic. And of course, your lovely little dog as well. So there you go, folks. That just about wraps it up for this one. Um, don't forget, as usual, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and also the notification bell. Hit that, and it'll let you know when all of our videos are coming out. A massive thanks to all the new subscribers and everyone that's been with us from, from Word Dot. Really, we always appreciate it. And uh, next video, well, we're going to be going somewhere quite familiar, and we're just contemplating, and I must stress contemplating, uh, we may even do a live from this site if we can get the technicals to work. So it's all about signal, really. So uh, stay tuned, whatever you do, and we'll catch you in the next video, coming your way very soon. Bye for now.